I just booted off Haskell, and I don't like this prompt. Let's change it. Colon. Set prompt to GHCI. Greater than sign. I hit enter. There's my new prompt. I like that. Now let's do some math. Ah, but we've done that before. Yes, but we didn't give it a name. Here I'm going to key in. Two. Plus two. And that's obviously four. What do we call this? This is called infix notation. Infix notation. Well, you say to me, what is infix notation style? That's where the that's where the operator, this guy, is positioned between the operands, this guy and this guy. That's called infix notation. There's another kind of notation, and that is called prefix notation. Really? What's that? Well, that is where the operator is placed before the operands. Could you give me an example? Sure can. Let's put a positive sign. Whoops. Let's do a positive sign. Whoops. Again, positive sign. Five. Well, not five. <laughs> What's wrong with me? <laughs> Plus, then I'm going to add up 100, space, and 200. And I hit under. Wow. Let's do that again. Let's use multiplication using the prefix notation. Asterisk for multiplication. I'm going to multiply 43 times 47. And if my math is correct, this should give me a 2021. And that's what it is, 2021. Wow. That's called prefix notation. Prefix notation. That's where the operand, in this case the multiplication, op the operand, that's where the operator, in this case the multiplication operator, the asterisk, prefixes the two operands, and it is encased or enclosed within parentheses. Prefix notation. Oh. Wow. And that is basically what I want to talk about today. So this is George Will saying bye-bye.